Founded in 1950, the Vermonter Candy produced specialty maple brittles. Last month, the owner, Carolyn Handy, announced that the company, which employed several across southern Vermont, would be closing due to the rising costs of doing business in the state. Carolyn, how did you arrive at the decision to close your business? It was a difficult decision, but economically, I was losing money, mm -hmm. not making money. And a big part of that is because of the Vermont minimum wage increasing by 50 cents year after year. Mm -hmm. I have six employees, so if each one gets a $3 raise, mm -hmm. three times six, $18 an hour more, mm -hmm. I'd have to pay. So with eight hours time, that's a lot of money that has to go into the candy, so the candy cost had to increase. Oh. And then it increased so much that the store owners thought they wouldn't be able to sell and they ceased carrying it. My father started it in 1950. Wow. And I, I grew up learning the business as a child. And then I went on to have my own career, but eventually I came back to Vermont in 2004 and took it over. It's been in the handy family all these years, uh. and my father really perfected the art of making thin maple brittle mm -hmm. for decades. Right. He never had another job since 1950, and he raised a family of four and bought the home and the factory. And it, it is a very special artisanal product, right? It is. It's, it's like a craft. It's not something that you can make in a factory with big machinery, nothing that can be automated. It's very labor intensive. And you've been doing it since 2004? Yes. So what do you know as a business owner in Vermont that the people running Montpelier do not? I don't think they understand that by raising the minimum wage and increasing fees like I have to pay a license to operate every year, $175, mm -hmm. used to be less. Yeah. But by increasing all these fees, some businesses have to go out of business, then the employees don't have their jobs. I'm thinking about my employees, mm -hmm. two of them are now only living on Social Security. Oh. Wow. The younger ones they had like two or three part-time jobs and now they have one less job. Mm -hmm. Two of the employees were already on state assistance. I know because I had to fill out forms for them as their employer. And so now they're not gonna have a job at all. At That's Vermont. right, they won't have the job and now they're gonna qualify for more assistance from Vermont, more food stamps, more fuel assistance because they have less of an income. Well, unfortunately, that means Vermont loses a company that's been around since 1950. This was your family treasure, right? And it was giving meaningful employment to so many across southern Vermont. And now? Now it's ended. And, and just as a last note, what would you like the legacy of your company to be known to Vermonters? Well, that's a tough question. We didn't really want to close because oh. it's been a special treat that people could buy as a tourist and you, you can't get it, you know, in other parts of the country. It's something very unique and now those uh, tricks of the trade are gone. I'm so sorry to hear that. But thank you for sharing your story with us and with the people of Vermont. Carolyn Handy, thank you. You're welcome.